Hello, Collective. Welcome back. Welcome to Majestic Notion. So, guys, um, I know I've been a little MIA here and there. I'm having some technical difficulties, man. <laughs> Seriously. The struggle is real. Um, even with my other channel, like editing stuff, all kinds of stuff. You know, all these planets retrograde. Um making it a little bit difficult for me when it comes to technology so that's why i've been mia i've been frustrated uh trying to get um things going here and you know I, i'm still working through it so if you don't see any videos posted on the other channel my be inspired channel it's because um i'm trying to work through the kinks here all right and I know I haven't done the zodiac sign readings. Be patient with me, guys. It's just, uh, you know, <laughs> um, I'm trying to get back to smooth sailing, but it's kind of hard right now. Okay, I was working on my computer all day yesterday trying to figure this out. But anyways, we're gonna see what's going on with you, collective. What's surrounding your energy at this time, and what's coming in for you? and what you need to look out for and you know where are you at in this current time mind body soul spirit all right let's see let's see what's going on out there all right of course these are general they're collective readings timeless readings okay not everyone will resonate male female all right take it how it resonates for you even if I say he or she, it's um, we're creatures of habits here. All right, so just take it how it resonates for you. All right, to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Welcome aboard to my new subscribers and to my day ones. Let's see what we got. Injustice, Medusa. Wow. Right away, I know you've been through a lot and you've had a lot of envious people around you and you've also had people casting spells upon you okay Medusa wasn't always Medusa till you know people were just all against Medusa alright that's what that's the story I'm getting with this Medusa okay there's a couple different storylines for Medusa but the one I'm getting is that people were pointing fingers, projecting on you, hating on you, a lot of envious. Look at all these snakes that were on you. Okay, these are a representation to me with what I'm feeling of people that were going up against you. They could have hated your beauty. The fact that you you just captivate the opposite sex here or same sex or both. Okay. And these people, they could have been doing beauty curses on you. Alright, whether you're male or female, you could be very handsome. Ladies, you could be very beautiful or just very sought after. Something about your energy. Okay, because you're, you're enlightened here. Some of you went through several transformations and ascension processes. Okay. Some people may, may be afraid to stand in front of you because they know you know. You, you know what I'm saying? They went up against you energetically and behind your back, whether it's talking, um, conjuring things against you, spell work, um, rumors, gossip, or doing shady things in your name, like starting fake pages or using your signature whatever this was my goodness they wanted to make you look as low and dirty and and dishonest as possible that's what I mean I'm getting that heavy with this card injustice here done against you number 43 could be significant that is adding up to nine and excuse me <laughs> seven so the divine is with you, okay? I don't know why I said nine, but 
Some of you closed out a lot of chapters with people. Some of you are manifesting miracles, even through all these trials and tribulations or forces against you. You're still shining. Your consciousness is expanding more and more and more. You keep shedding, you keep growing, you keep ascending. There's something powerful here with this energy. You're emanating strength and you're... The reason they can't stand in front of you, these people that went up against you, is because they'll see it in your face, they'll see it in your eyes. They'll feel it in your energy. They know you know. They know you know. You are very, very protected here. Wow. I'm also getting this could also be the representation of all your spirit guides that are ascended. You know, they can take any shape or form. Okay? It's not just all good. When it comes to protection, they can use anything they want to protect you here. Or any sort of tactic here. Uh, it could be by, you know, these people experiencing nightmares, mishaps in their life. Definitely karma, of course. They could be seeing, some people, I'm hearing they could be seeing um, ghosts or or even getting harassed by them. For those that conjured up like spirits against you, those spirits have made their way back to them. Okay. And I just heard you're unfuckwithable. And I heard not today, Satan. <laughs> wow. Getting a lot there. My goodness. All right. Let's keep going here. Let's look at the bottom. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. What? And I just, as soon as I saw that word, I got that song. <clears throat> Treasure, that is what you are. Baby, you're that golden star. You make your wish come true. Or you make my wish come true. What? <laughs> the dragon. Treasure. You are this dragon. I feel. I feel like your energy is very powerful. Some of you, some of you could be a Chinese dragon, Chinese sign of the dragon number four. This is protected beyond means. There's like a powerful force around you, and you are the treasure. This is grounded, stable. You know, some people see the dragon as a negative thing. No. The dragon is a mystical creature that has treasure and protects it. And they, they're they often off to themselves. And people often want to take the dragon's treasure. But they have to try to defeat it to get it. And that's what I'm seeing here. People try to defeat you. Possibly also through connections where you, you could attract... Um, Connections with people in high places or very abundant. You could have had a spiritual connection with someone like this. And these people try to get in the way because they want this life with this person. Um, so if they see you coming, they try to make you look as bad as possible or eliminate you from the way. But you are the treasure. There's just something so significant about you, 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 man. It's almost like you also had to beat the dragon. Like the force within you. You had to surpass yourself. And in order to do that, you must be extremely resilient. 
So it's like you become the dragon. Damn. You're becoming the dragon. A force to be reckoned with. Damn, collective. You will be, you will be wealthy. Very wealthy. And unfuckwithable. <laughs> You're meant for it. It's destined for you, but you have to overcome a lot of stuff. Um, what's the word that I'm hearing? What is it? Adversity. You had to overcome a lot of adversity. Wow. Boy, were you tested. Your whole life, you've been tested by people and spiritual forces. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, look at this. I just saw 11 11. You could be on a twin flame journey. Number 13 Dream Thief and Refusal of the Call. Somebody's tried to steal your dreams, and this is someone that's not doing the work. They had a refusal of the call, they didn't go through this transformation. That's what they had to do. Rather, they tried to steal it from you. So this is somebody here that could be watching you, could be getting readings on you here. Knowing exactly what you're meant for. But they don't want to do the work in order to get there. See, you're doing the work. So somebody here uses spell work, definitely. This could also be someone you had a spiritual connection with. Or this could be a karmic or car mix of someone that's surrounding this energy okay but if they re if we have refusal of the call these are people that have refusal of the call they don't know how to go about ascending or going through this deep transformation so they can you know be enlightened to their own spiritual gifts here this could have been a spiritual connection that you were with. With 1111, your, your twin flame could have went up against you for some of you. Okay? And they try to use your energy to use your gifts. To, you know, to be blessed. It doesn't work that way. Damn. Scorpio energy. Bottom of the deck. Fool's embrace, transmuting pain, look at this, mastering the this energy is not easy, 22 is a master number, that could be a life path number for some of you, transmuting pain, everything that you've been through, transmuting that into your power, into your divine power. You are extremely resilient here. Fools embrace. Letting shit go. And constantly evolving into something new. Something stronger. Something more ascended. And into different cycles and new beginnings. I mean, to be able to do this over and over and time and time again throughout your life. This ain't easy. To to always run up against these people that they just don't understand your energy and they want to go up against it all the time. There's something about you that they see that they don't understand themselves. And it rubs them the wrong way. But it's not because you're a bad person. You're a good person. These are people that don't understand their own life, their own spirit. And they're just takers, thieves. These could be friends, family members, people that you trusted. Okay? Like, I see you, you're just passing through is what I'm getting. You're put in different cycles and, it, and it, it, it's like you have to learn something there. And you transmute it and you move forward. Something is, you're... Whatever this path is that you've been on this lifetime, it just keeps testing your faith. And it keeps making you stronger. 
this is not easy to go through. You have a moments where I'm sure you want to give up, but you keep persevering here. This is really awesome, okay? It's not an easy energy, but you you just have to keep being you and being true to your path and to yourself is what I'm seeing here. Okay. What else here? Transformation. So some of you are going through another ascension right now. You're transmuting something. It could be the fact that your twin rejected and refused and the refusal of the call. But you know what this means for you? This is like your toughest <laughs> challenge is to let this go is what I'm seeing for you whoever is resonating with this specific reading this is specific this is not for every twin flame okay because I feel like you're either like a divine feminine divine masculine energy 16 16 on the clock transformation Archangel Zachiel thank you Zachiel for supporting me to transformation from my past challenges So all these challenges you've been through up to this point, I'm telling you, you're about to find this treasure. You're about to be blessed because you have been through all of this and still remain resilient. I feel like this is your biggest challenge was this twin flame journey and letting, letting that specific person go because they chose to refuse the call, right? You have free will. Okay, that's why I say to you guys, not every twin flame journey is coming together. But you did what you had to do this lifetime. At this particular moment in time, your twin did not. If we're talking about twin flames, it doesn't have to be for everybody. Okay, for some of you, these are people that just, they refuse the call. They don't understand it. They don't even know what it is. They just see you and they go against you because of the energy you carry. Because you keep evolving, your energy keeps shifting and elevating. Your vibration is high. So people don't understand that energy. Because not everybody's doing this for themselves. Right? So, but for those of you who are on a twin flame journey, and you're about to meet a high level soulmate, someone that does not have a refusal of the call, someone like-minded, but just like you're a divine feminine or divine masculine, when you meet a high-level soulmate, that person is a divine masculine or divine feminine as well. Okay? So God could have switched your contract here and you still remain in your purpose and so does that other person you're meeting. And you work together with a high-level soulmate. Because there was a refusal of the call. Somebody made that choice to go up against you and refuse the call. So somebody here forfeited some sort of spiritual contract with you. Okay? Now, that's up to God. Whatever, I don't know what transpired there, what they did against you behind the scenes, or in front of your face, I don't know. But, you know, God's going to deal with that energy somehow, some way, depending on the level of you know betrayal here that happened that's also self-betrayal for whoever this is okay it could be due to you know what are people gonna say what are people gonna think uh you're too different you know what i mean it could be anything like that or i went up against you when i didn't understand this connection or maybe i did understand it and i went up against you anyways and there's no justification there's injustice here you see what I'm saying? So it could be anything like that. It'll be, that'll resonate different for all of you. So, yeah. so your twin, obviously, they're going to have to reincarnate and go through this whole lesson again. You are elevating and transforming and you keep pushing through, pushing through. That tells me you're in a very strong, powerful energy and you understand who you are. And you keep revealing things about yourself to yourself as you continue to transmute this energy this dark force that tries to take you down you know through people and disapp the disappointments and all of that no 
you 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 keep being in your strength and you go through this transformation i feel this is your biggest transformation yet because you have a twin here for some of you that refused this connection rejected it and they 2020 on the clock wow Ooh. that's judgment judgment for you is this treasure judgment for whoever these people are or this twin is however that resonates for you is not going to be pretty it's going to be bad karma not because they didn't choose this path because they chose to go up against you that's the problem hold on one second guys i'll be right back okay so let's look at the bottom of the deck Peace and Harmony. Archangel Raguel. Thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Look at that. You're highly protected. I just saw 2112. Highly protected. 3 3. Wow. All right, let's continue. This is crazy. And you're that much stronger because you're going into this purpose. You've been, I feel like this is, you're somebody that's already been either aligning to your purpose or in your purpose. But you may have like a double purpose when you meet this high level soulmate. You had a purpose with this twin, but they had a refusal of the call. And God is bringing you a high level soulmate. So there's a purpose with you and this high level soulmate is what I'm feeling. I just feel that energy. I know it's here. Um okay. So let's continue. Collective. This is powerful. Wow. One more. We have courtship number four, 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 four here, three, three, three. Follow your intuition. Unexpected income. Wow. Number 27, adding up to nine. You're manifesting something. So what was meant for you and whoever refused the call here is coming to you because you're the one persevering okay these blessings okay some of because some of you are breaking generational curses um, you have some sort of inheritance here that is owed to you okay so we have unexpected income here now this could be through a courtship but I feel like um, for others of you you know through a connection that's coming into your life uh, but this could be through an opportunity or this could be just a blessing that comes in. Like I said, spirit can use anyone or anything or any means for this blessing to come to you. Okay. Yeah, journey. There you go. You're you're done with whatever. Something happened through the 8-8 portal here, guys. When it came to some significant connection or connections you had with others. Um, it could be both. But you're done with that journey and you're going through a, a major transformation right now. All right. Spirit is moving you forward here. And there's somebody unexpected coming into your life that brings some sort of either opportunity or finances here somehow. Some sort of blessing. Okay. So you're on your way to this treasure as well. 2434. We have courthouse, imprisonment, and change. With message of concern and poverty Wow whoever these people were whoever it is within those that group whether it's somebody you were that was supposed to be your counterpart or people that went up against you karmics uh, friend family foe lover there's some changes 
courthouse, imprisonment, change, message of concern, and poverty. Damn. That's karma. Somebody was messing with God's child, God's chosen. That's what I'm getting here. You're a light being. You could be a cosmic being. A light worker, a star seed, a chosen. Yeah, it's, expect some sort of judgment to a community that will be in despair because of stealing from you. Either energetically, physically, or simply by enjoying your inheritance that you were supposed to have. Some sort of blessing that was meant for you and whoever this counterpart is that refused to call. And they had other people around them taking and enjoying this okay see people don't understand how energy works even if they didn't understand that they were taking part of what was meant for you because that's how God ordained it to be um, they're gonna lose all these people yeah you're, you're see you're held in high honor by the Most High you are you are chosen. You're God's chosen. Is what I'm getting here. Look at this. Distant horizon with coffin. You are, you're going to be married to someone. There's all kinds of karma. Uh, yeah, official person. Somebody's going to be your official person. They're thinking about you. Pathway. And wealthy man. This wealthy man also could be surrounded by false people in the workplace okay man I, I just got new level new devils it's like it doesn't end collective when you meet someone else here just know that they are going to be people um, trying to go after you again okay so Whatever transformation you're going through, it's very necessary for, it's like, I just heard back to the mission at hand. Yeah, what this transformation is going to be necessary for you to be even more resilient with what's coming, with some new energy, okay? I feel like this, but you're going to be so much more equipped to handle this, okay? Wow. We're not going to go that far ahead, so let's keep going. That's later on. Yeah, this is whoever you had the soul connection to, self-sabotage. They have a hole in their soul. They're going to have a hole in their soul when they find out, like, this is done. This contract is over. When they see you with a high-level soulmate, I don't care how tough somebody tries to be. When you know you have a spiritual connection to someone and you know on top of that you failed that connection and you failed God, <laughs> that's going to leave a hole in your soul, even if it's not spoken. Okay? There are going to be things that are going to remind this person of you wherever they go. It could be simple little things. It could be a song, a saying, an object, whatever it is. It's going to haunt this person. Because they knew. That's the problem. They knew. But, you know, they chose the matrix, basically. So they remained the karmic. Alright, let's see what else here. Moving forward. Self-love. Number 24, with courtship. Two people that have self-love. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? Number 6. Some of you also with that Medusa energy. You're going to be afraid to fall in love. You may want it, but there's something about this person you're going to be afraid because you were, you know... <laughs> You know that it doesn't matter if you have a spiritual connection. They have free will and they could choose to be with you or not. You, you, may, you may have a moment where you feel you're going to go through the same thing you just went through with someone else. 
Keep an open mind, okay? These are two people that have self-love. This high-level soulmate is not going to um, try to defeat you or dismiss you, outcast you, or treat you bad because you're different. I feel like this is someone that embraced um, authenticity. Okay, I just saw 333 on the clock, so 3033. So have a, have some trust, okay? But get to know each other, of course. Keep an open mind. Take it slow. All right, build that trust. All right. Temptation. Yeah, number 19. Whoever has a refusal of the call, they're, they could be very tempted by other energies. And although they're very tempted to come towards you, this is adding up to 10. This is done. Okay, this person astral travels a lot to you. Okay, or vice versa. Again, something unexpected also could have came in between you guys. Again, here, with temptation. This person constantly falling for this apple, this shiny thing. And this is why they're refusing the call here. It, they're just not ready for somebody like you. Even if it's your counterpart. When they're not doing the work and you're ascending to this degree, this is why... God is watching you and they're, he's watching this person and whoever else is surrounding them or, or surrounding you and going up against you. For some of you also, God is showing you who your enemies are through the dream state. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled. Healing. Yeah, you're on a journey of transformation, constant transformation and healing. Okay. Number three, you're also in the energy of attraction. Attracting what it is your heart desires. So, you know, just mind your thoughts and remain balanced within, you know, a positive positivity. If something negative pops up, address it, transmute it, let it fly, and keep it moving. Okay? Number 21. That's also the world card with journey. Number 21 is the world. Yeah, you're on a healing journey and transformation journey. So this is like your journey through through life. It's like 3242. You've been through so much. Okay. Some of you are home or you're focused on home life and self-love and family. Number 35 here. Could be significant. And that is adding up to 8. You could be learning on how to manifest by being in your best, highest vibrational energy possible here. 3303. 333. <laughs> yeah. You're definitely meant for so much more. Let's see here. Yeah, you've been. You're the wounded warrior. Three of swords with the nine of wands. Okay. <sighs> Just keep moving, collective. You got this. Okay. There is light at the end of this tunnel. 3333. Three. You're so... You're, you... You're mastering yourself beautifully here. I know it's tough. It's raining and thundering right now. But you got this. You're, you're listening to your intuition. And you're allowing spirit to guide you in the right direction. And this is good. That sunshine, trust me, is, is, is there. It's there. One more. Yeah. You're leaving these energies behind. You're leaving that devil behind. And checkmate. Okay? Keep playing, keep playing that chess. Because checkmate. Victory. Oh, shit. You're playing chess with the devil. Oh, damn. But you're winning. 34-34 on the clock. Damn. 7-7. Seven, seven. Just keep following spirit. Judgment. Okay. Judgment for all this injustice. Look at that. I told you they're under judgment. Whoever went up against you. And somebody here. The spirit is letting pass through. So they can come to you. 
self-love. You have the rite of passage here. Knight of Cups. Yeah, whoever this person is that has had refusal of the call, this is a charmer. Okay? And they fall for temptation easy. I can't make this up. Number three, you're in the energy of attracting what it is you desire. The Empress. Okay, whether you're male or female. You're getting in tune with self-love. Nurturing thyself. Um, fertility. Okay, manifestation. Filled with ideas that you will be manifesting. You're going through a major transformation. Yet another glow up. Okay, you're in, being, you're, you're in touch with your emotions. And you are in the energy of attracting. This is beautiful. You are loyal to the path. And somebody had the rite of passage and coming towards you. Look at this. When I see it this way. With judgment. So, spirit, what, th whoever's coming into your life was under judgment by spirit. They didn't even know. Because spirit is going to bring you an emperor. You are an empress. Okay. Or it's going to bring you an empress. Because you are an emperor. And that's what you deserve. Especially after all you've been through. So, yeah, somebody was under scrutiny by spirit and the most high. You, you're, you're held in high honor. That child with high honor, you're like right there with God. Okay? For the things that you're doing for yourself and others. Because your transformation essentially benefits others. 33, you're meant to be, you're meant to master thyself so that you can be this leader for others. The muse and inspiration by the life you lead. You are not far away from God. You're very close. Um, the other day, I had a I had a vision through meditation where I saw these old people. There were a couple old men, and they were watching the comment section uh, with these types of readings. For some of you, if you're readers, you can resonate with this. Others of you, they could be watching your social media. For those of you who speak the truth. And they were saying, these people, they start their own journeys and get further and further away from God. And the other old people were like, oh my God, that's horrible. These, these are people that have, sim they're simple minded. They have that old, played out, sc old school mentality. Trying to say that, these, that people like yourself, because you're meant to lead others, not brainwash lead by example which is very different than brainwashing and those who know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about um not the other way around right so they're trying to make it look like people that go on their off on their own journeys are are all these other people are starting to lead because they were looking at the comments because they're starting to realize how many people actually resonate with this and this journey this is a tough ass journey it's a solo journey you're not being led by anyone but yourself and the most high and your spirit team you have to have a lot of faith and you have to believe in something bigger than you but those types of people with the simple mind they always want to call it the devil because they don't understand what the hell you're doing because they're not doing it for themselves okay you're closer to God than it anyone would care to think so you just keep going and doing what you're meant to do because you are on the right path you're not on the path of the matrix and the brainwashing you're on the path of ascension to be in oneness Christ consciousness with the most high with source these are people that think God is a man that floats on a cloud no God is not a human we're human, have, we're spiritual beings having a human experience because we manifested ourselves into this world in that way. God is source, energy, vibration, and frequency. He has no face or gender. So you keep doing you. You're doing the right thing. 
and you're heading down the right path. This is a blind faith type of path where you would discover yourself in so many ways. And yes, you have a lot of people that go up against you because of this. But it's not up to them. You're not telling them to join you. You're simply doing what you need to do for you. And if others want to know what it is that you do, want to learn from you, well then great. And if they don't, they can refuse the call and get their karma for going up against you. So keep it pushing. There it is. Six of Wands. You have a high spiritual ranking and you have the rite of passage. And people admire you. And more people will admire you and admire you and admire you. You are the face for this whole ascension process, the spiritual journey and path. You're being the light worker that you came here to be. Okay? God is your boss. Nobody else. You work for the Most High. And no matter the animosity, the gossip, the rumors, the singling you out, the outcasting you, you're doing what you got to do because to you what matters is your spiritual journey, your ascension, and what, what God had intended for you. That's what matters here. Not these low vibrational energies that think they're better than everybody else and they have some sort of God complex. And they think that materialism is what makes their worth. No. It starts from within first. Everything else you have in your life is secondary. So your character is one of rarity. Keep shining like you do. You're going to take yourself and allowing spirit to take you to great heights. Okay? So no matter what it looks like to others at this time, just keep moving in silence. Keep passing through and pushing through. You got this, collective. You got it. The Emperor. This is the person that had a refusal of the call. Is this masculine. But it says, expect unexpected income. I'm, I'm not getting... I, I see that in the future, yes. But I'm, I'm feeling an unexpected change of contract is what I'm getting here. Because it's right here. So I'm, I'm telling you, somebody had the rite of passage. You're getting another emperor here. And it's a high-level soulmate. In his or her power. A true representation of what an emperor should be like. Not just on the outside, on the inside. Temperance with the Empress. Equilibrium, balance, you're patient, you're going with the flow, and earth angel energy. There's something very angelic about you because it's who you are at the core. And you go through a lot of highs and lows, okay? Because of all these transformations that you're going through, or that you have gone through. But you have learned to balance these energies. You're mastering that in your life. So every time you go through a transformation, you understand why that needs to be there. And you, you understand the energy of why it needs to shift or shift out of your life. So you have no attachments to people because of this, because you're understanding why things are cycling out of your life, and it's for your greater good. 44, 44 on the clock. There it is. Yeah. And there's, there are the naysayers and the shit starters, and the ones that want to win at all costs, the copycats, the ones that think they have one, one up on you when you're like, 
I, I'm hearing lifetimes ahead of time. You are way ahead of your time. You're you're definitely you like you're you're cosmic. You you came here to experience, to learn, and to grow, and to analyze, and to take note. And you you have a greater greater purpose on the other side. I don't know what it is. There's a reason why you're going through all of this. There's a reason for it. And there's something that you're meant for. I don't know if it's this lifetime or it's on the other side with the Most High, with Spirit, wherever it is you originated from in the universe. There's something big. This is why you're here. You have to learn all these lessons. You have to master yourself. This is about self-mastery, absolutely. So all these people, insignificant. Anything they have to say, insignificant. Positions they try to put themselves in or steal them from you, insignificant. Talking shit, trying to make you look some type of way, winning their little, let them win their little awards. Let them win their little whatever these petty ass competitive things that they're going after. Let them. Just let them. Keep moving in silence. Okay? This is also Mercury energy. Uh, Mercury retrograde, I believe, it starts on the 23rd of this month. We also have a solar eclipse on October 14th. Where, you know, you see the actual rays of the sun surrounding the moon. That will be seen from certain states, not all. There's something about that energy as well coming up next month. Yeah, these people, they are in self-imposed imprisonments. Eight of Swords energy. Okay. These are people that cannot see a higher perspective, like you. These people are bound to their beliefs. They're bound to the way they act and show up to the world. They're bound by their thoughts. The, these people have too much noise going on in their mind to be able to see things from a higher perspective, like you do at this point in time in your life okay yeah you're moving away from this spirit is moving you away from all this storm and into the light where you belong you you have a map here okay you intuitively know that you're meant for something else yeah there you go look at that you got the paper here you're making a little paper plane some of you you're writing down what you want to make manifest and spirit is taking you there quickly yeah look at that into a new beginning some of you definitely jotted some things down doing the a, a, a portal yeah yeah I'm hearing catapult you're being catapulted forward into a whole new world and a whole new beginning that's that transformation to a ones yeah, it's like spirit, all right. I see what you're putting down. Let's take you there. I'll take you there. So the other path is you leaving it where it is and taking your cup into the night. Oh, what's that song? That's an old school freestyle song. I don't remember how it goes. It's into the night. Something like that. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> you're taking your cup elsewhere. There it is. <laughs> yeah, self-love. Healing. People watching. Oh, the sun. Ooh, who's watching? The Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Nine of Swords. There are two specific energies watching you. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. They can't sleep at night because you look happy. 
Wow. And they know you're you're a gift. They know you're going to be blessed. There it is. That's the most high. Giving you some type of blessing. Yeah. Keep it silent. You're the high priestess here. Yeah. You see? Somebody secretly getting readings on you here because they know you're meant for something. Somebody is getting readings also. Paying for readings. Because they want to play this. Okay. Somebody wants to play chess with you. Okay. They out here playing checkers. Because you're going to have wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. To, yeah. You got something for that ass. You're the queen of swords. You're ascended. If you see this cup is upside down. You ain't playing. You're very wise. And you know who you need to cut out. Wow. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, whatever. Yeah. Equal giving and receiving, reciprocity. Take your time with whatever this new connection is or new endeavor you're taking on um, in career. Okay. Balance. Yeah, Queen of Wands with the Devil here and the Ten of Pentacles. With the Two of Cups. What's going on over here? Yeah, the Devil's going to try to get in here. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, the devil is playing chess with you. Trying to get in the way of this Ten of Pentacles and Two of Cups situation. New levels, new devils, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Eek. Whoever this King of Wands is, they're getting bad karma. Wheel of Fortune with the Five of Pentacles. The King of Wands, Seven of Cups. This is somebody that has, you know, they think they have it all, right? They think that they have all the women or men in the world that they can choose from. They're going to get bad karma. Some of them will have some sort of uh, STD. Five of Pentacles could be health issues as well. Because they slept around. I'm telling you, it's all fun and games too that it ain't fun anymore. Hold on one second. And for some of these people, it's not just STD. They can mess around and get AIDS here, you know? HIV. I wouldn't mess around with that. And that's how you know that somebody is not doesn't have self-worth and self-respect. Or hasn't gone to that level yet in their life. Is when they just allow anybody to have this, you know, to come in sexually and have this energetic exchange. You can't just let just anyone up in your temple. That that's asking for a lot of a lot of problems. All right, let's keep it moving here, collective. You know, before I do that, I want to clarify this emperor energy. Yeah, somebody's watching your money, hardcore. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords again. So you have some thieves around you. Okay? Trying to steal your gifts. But you are the treasure here. magician <laughs> with the six of wands and judgment I'm telling you you're gonna manifest your best life not that you're not already living it but it's gonna get better and better you're manifest you're in the energy of manifesting this self-love high-level soulmate energy ten of wands yeah this emperor that went against you they're burdened that's what they chose burdens the world I I told you what did I say number 21 is the world with the journey this is the end to this journey you're about to have a new beginning you've been patient you've been healing 
and going through a transformation, you're clearly doing what is right. And clearly your emperor did not. Okay? They're manifesting burdens with the magician, the ten of wands, and the world. I mean, what can you do? I heard, c'est la vie, c'est la vie. That's right. Ace of Cups, you're manifesting new love. Can't make this up. And they're getting the rite of passage. I'm telling you, spirit, scan this person. Whoever they're bringing into your life, they really scanned this one. They want to make sure that you don't go through this again. You're meeting someone else. <laughs> the emperor again. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got two emperors here. I can't make this up. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Just take your time. Alright. With this um, basketball game, I'm feeling you're just going to have to be strategic. This transformation is going to allow you to understand the game even better and better. Right? Everything takes practice. And the more you ascend and transform, the better you get. It's like learning at life here. Ace of Cups. I can't make this up. Look at this. You have another Emperor here. Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone that commits and is in it for the long haul. And it takes it one day at a time. For some of you, this person could have a child. Or this is what they want. With you. For those of you who can't have children, of course, that's not for everybody. Okay, now we're talking. Three of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody that's going to want to have some fun with you, ask you out. There may be other people that want to be with this person, but this is not the kind of person that's going to fall for temptation. They were already screamed by spirit before coming to you. Nine of Swords. This person could be nervous. Okay. And I tell you who, who's going to be nervous because they know they refused the call is the original emperor here that was supposed to be an emperor, but refused the call, so they remained the karmic. They're nervous about you meeting someone that will not refuse the call, and that's exactly what's here. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, save for a rainy day also is what I'm getting here. Three of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Somebody here is um, holding back because they're nervous also. Yeah. there's Maybe you help this person see from a higher perspective, or there's something else that they're dealing with at this time. But whatever this is, um, they could be taking some time out to reflect. There's something going on, but the sun's coming up. So whatever they were trying to see, maybe they were going through their own little journey, the sun is about to come up. And that's, I feel, who's coming to you here. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, yes, Four of Wands. Look at that, new relationship with a charmer, but... Not like this. This is a different type of charmer. Page of Pentacles. Somebody could have been learning a little lesson of their own, or this is someone that wants to message you. I'm here but with the devil. Yeah, look at all these people. I'm telling you, this person works with some false people. Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, the devil. This person is surrounded by karmics also, but they don't want none of this. I'm telling you, the devil's always in the details because you're playing chess with the fucking devil. The devil keeps trying to one-up you. Okay, here he is again, trying to tempt this person with options so that you don't they don't come to you. But he's already been screened. He or she has been screened by spirit already. So this means this person has great character. They're not going to do you like this person. And these are people that they work around. Yeah, this person's going through a body transformation, or you are, the Empress. Yeah. Or again, these are people seeing you th going through a body transformation, and they're jealous. They're so jealous. These are people that 
cause uh, smoke and mirrors five of swords seven of cups with the devil these 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 are karmics looking at you going through a body transformation and hating on you there's your soulmate two of cups eight of swords they're thinking of ways of betraying you more yeah whoever refused the call they're in their head they're going to be filled with regrets because they know they self-betrayed you and betrayed you and they know you're going to meet a soulmate i just know they, they just they're picking it up they know oh there's that there's that solar eclipse i'm telling you You could have blocked a Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles energy that were in their shadow here. Yeah, and you walked away. These are these are these karmics. Yeah, that are looking at you going through a body transformation. You got some serious haters here. Damn. Because you're the Empress, male or female. You're looking good. You're taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. Yeah, calm. Cool and collected and pride, self-esteem, self-worth. That's you. You're in a good energy. And there you are wearing your crown again, I'm telling you. You have a spiritual high ranking for sure. All right, spirit, let's see what else here. One more shuffle. And then we're going to get a little bit into that new emperor energy. This is beautiful. You deserve the best collective. You really do. You went through a lot. So let them hate. Your actions speak louder than words. Ha! <laughs> Justice. With the Ace of Cups and the Magician. Like, come on. Yeah. Justice for injustice. We can't make it up. For some of you, this person could be a DJ. They could be a bartender. They could be a, um, um, a CEO. Maybe they own a club for some of you. They could be in the justice system. Okay. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, for the gentleman, this could be uh, somebody that's in the uh, beauty industry. They could be a model. They could have been in pageants. Okay, what else, spirit? Look at that, eternal love. Oh, snap. So you've known this soulmate before, of course. And it's eternal love. You see what you see the miracles that God makes? Somebody wasn't up to par for you. They didn't want to be. So now God's going to bless you with someone that wants to be with you. And is looking for someone like you. Okay. Stability, harmony, and acceptance. This is you accepting what is. It is what it is. Yes. You're just going with the flow. It's beautiful. 65 could be significant. This is adding up to 11, and you are Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Yeah, 50. This is going to be a challenge for somebody. <laughs> and number 11. You're definitely meeting a Divine Masculine. It's your high-level soulmate, but it's your Divine Masculine. Beautiful. Let's get one more round. Yeah, this is a family person. Okay, this is somebody you're going to have a family with or a blended family with. Bond, home, background. This is beautiful. We have blind, awkward, unknown vision problems. Um, I feel like maybe that person that refused the call is not going to see this coming. They might think that you're still going to hang on to your life till the end of time. No, you're not. They don't see this coming. Yep, bully. You were bullied. 
That's how we started. I knew I was picking up that energy. That's a confirmation. You were being projected on. But guess who's sitting in the empress energy? Emperor, empress status energy is you, not them. Bullies never get anywhere. It, they have temporary victories. You ever seen where, let's say you're in high school and you have the popular girl or guy. And then you have the ugly duckling. Not to say that you were ever ugly, but maybe it took you a long time to come into this energy that you're embodying now, right? And all of a sudden, the popular kid in school, after high school, maybe 10, 20 years went by, 30 years. They're all looking rough. They're not living their best life. They're bitter. And then all of a sudden, the ugly duckling is, is the beautiful swan. When they went up against you, and, and you're the beautiful swan. You got better with age, not just in looks, but within who you are as a person. Not that you were ever a bad person. You just found your worth. You found who you were. And you, you, you worked on that person. I mean, you're even working on yourself physically. Mind, body, soul, spirit, and heart. That's beautiful. So it's a long-lasting effect for you, not short-lived. Beautiful. Origin. With vitality, creativity, and... I can't see that. But anyways, yeah. So you're growing things, you're planting seeds. That's what the Empress does. You're bringing things into life. You are... You are infertility right pregnant with so many ideas and so many seeds to plant you can do anything and these people look at this they're afraid now and they're having accidents they're in a state of fear that's the eight of swords five of swords okay so some of these people are having really bad luck they can't sleep at night because they're scared some of them are scared to get the backlash and and get death for going at you they know because they're watching readings. Okay, they can't pretend they don't see this coming. They can't pretend. Okay, some of these people are going to have accidents and they're their own demise for going up against you. They're afraid. They're afraid of Medusa. Okay. She had to become that way, and I don't see you being bitter, okay? But Medusa turned people into stone when they, when she, all she had to do was look at them. They're afraid. They're having bad luck. And it's not you doing anything against them. They did it against themselves by going against you. It's their karma. You didn't have to lift a finger. Okay, we don't wish anybody any ill will. But karma is karma, and it's going to ricochet back to whoever, however way it does. We have no control over that. Self-love. You're just here loving yourself. Energy doesn't lie. The cards don't lie. Yeah, look at this. Somebody vowed worship. They wished for bad things on you. And now they're stressing. Because they try to steal. They try to steal something from you. Something that you were gaining. This could be maybe you're gaining popularity. Um, even likes on social media. Because these people are petty. They look at that stuff. Um, maybe they saw, you know, because you're going through a body transformation. Maybe you were buying new things for yourself. Like clothes or outfits. You know what I mean? They see you gaining. So they try to go up against you. And if there was something that was meant for you, they try to take it before it came to you. Okay? Especially when it came to this, whoever this masculine was, or feminine, that came up against you. They see you saving. Look at this. Marriage, sweet dreams, friendship. I'm telling you. Things, and they're over here overloaded. Things are going to look up and up. And they're going to withdraw because they have too many burdens. 
and that they're gonna want this to stop and it's not gonna stop they hesitated right they listen to the devil not the angel and they could be fighting some illnesses I'm telling you somebody could have been blackmailed here also temptation with homeless while you're getting great news wow yeah and some people they're gonna be to their breaking point where they're gonna want to apologize or tell you some truth that you didn't even know about because they're getting back karma some people they're start they're start they're starting to understand that you really are held in high honor here by the most high that you really must have a calling over your life one 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 on the clock <laughs> look apology for cursing your life trying to they curse themselves oh my goodness confinement eight of swords energy spiritual jail yeah you're gonna be happy with somebody else these people are oh my god I'm telling you that's why you don't mess with people it always comes back and then you don't know who you're messing with you're a freaking angel here you have a rare energy oh my goodness but they then these are non-believers they only believe when the shit hits the fan I'm gonna use my dimensions Oracle let's see what else here Huh? Ha! <laughs> Can't make it up. Treasure, that is what you are. Baby, you're my golden star. Chosen, psychic abilities, unique and misunderstood. There it is. Medusa was also misunderstood. Okay, that's you. You are chosen, no doubt about it. For whoever resonates. And the person coming to you is also chosen, and they already have the rite of passage. Purification, signs, and synchronicities. Divine intervention, a time of change. There you go. For these bullies. Okay. Spirit saw it all and so did the most high. Weathering the storm, pushing through fear and obstacles. That's your new person here. So they had they had to weather some storms themselves, okay? You two are gonna have a lot to talk about. A lot of things in common I feel here I heard fierce protector whoever this is coming into your life is going to be just as fierce as you are a fierce protector because they've been through it as well return to innocence loyalty and surrender look at that this is somebody returning to in this new emperor in your life male or female this is somebody following the signs and synchronicities and going through a purification process and returning back to self. They're very in touch with their inner child. Loyal. Eternal love. While the other person acts like they don't see you. Yeah. Brutal cutthroat and complete disregard. Whoever bullied you here and did try to curse your life that all of a sudden they want to apologize because their life is going south the divine is is there <laughs> with this person and they're they're in the middle of the storm right here end of a 
dark cycle, transformation and death. Head in the clouds, distant. Yeah, this is the end of this. That's twice. This is your person, head in the clouds, with veil, mask, and fake persona. Okay. They're thinking about this. MIA, seeking hidden meaning to a connection or problem. Feeling let down and disappointed, regrets. This could be you or them. And then we have freedom of constraints, relief, and liberation. With faith or questionable path, the point of no return. Decisions and crossroads. That's you. You decided to free yourself. I'm at the point of no return. I'm at the point of no return. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah. Past life regression, memories and revelations. Things have been revealed through you. I mean, to you through the, either the meditative state or the dream space here. And uh, going the distance, overcoming obstacles and perseverance. With mindfulness, meditation, conscious, teleportation. I won't go into that, but that is a possibility. When you know how to, when you're a heavy meditator, you understand that energy. And we have in tune with thyself, free, authentic, and content. There you go. You're not wearing a mask. You're authentic. Alliances coming together for the greater good. And, and that's also why you're meeting another emperor. And some of you are also meeting your soul tribe. We had friends um, in these cards too. You're the high priestess. Divine knowledge. Illumination and wisdom. You are a cosmic being. And you have a past life encounter, long lost connection. This is that person, the devil. See the devil in details again. Protector. Rises to the challenge, a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I'm telling you, whoever you're meeting rises to the challenge the devil in the details the devil you guys are both playing chess with this devil that keeps trying to tempt you and distract you from your path whoever you're meeting and you you rise to the challenge you both are a force to be reckoned with okay we have a white wolf I'm telling you this this emperor you're meeting is no joke Volatile situation, destruction, shock, and liberation. This could be them also freeing themselves from something and going through an ego death. Okay? Growth, ego death, humbled, and illuminated. Yeah. This is somebody coming towards you. Let me a shocker here, I feel. Shining moment, spotlight, and admiration. Out of reach, free, and get away. Okay. Somebody here could be in the spotlight also. Um, but somebody could be taking some time out of the spotlight or, you know, away from friends, family, or whatever they do for a living here um, to really go through this ego, death, and transformation. This is that new person. They're doing the work, okay? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Heading, going through the obstacles and difficulties, finding solutions. And going through a journey. This is somebody that has a spark, curiosity, a crush on you. Okay. Yeah, here comes the devil trying to... Look at this. Be careful. Peeping and creeping. Okay. <laughs> I can't make this up, man. Look at this energy. Incubus, succubus, uncontrolled sexuality, emotional and spiritual darkness. With dark cupid karmic soul ties, entrapment, karmic lesson with peeping and creeping. This is your refusal of the call person that decided to go for a karmic and remain a karmic. So they're, they're stuck with other situations. They have incubus, succubus energies. They have spiritual attachments, but they're still peeping and creeping. Okay. And you are a god, goddess. You are part of something much bigger. I can't make this up. I'm telling you. 
it's not just in this life or in this earth you you're part of something way bigger but I can't get into that you see you're outside of the earth here internal voyage journey pathway and insight you're taking the middle road patience and moderation you are an angel a god a goddess however you want to you know see yourself here you're chosen and there you go there's a the copycats smoke and mirrors imitated never duplicated that's probably this person right here that's having divine intervention for going up against you trying to bully you or make you look some type of way look see this person was doing beauty spells return to sender misfortune and bad luck I can't make it up this is a person trying to curse you they curse themselves yeah yeah <laughs> incoming surprises the unexpected Wow yeah this is somebody that your your person was with past life lover karma clearing unfinished business this person came to destroy divide and conquer but it's all coming back to them there's something about a portal being closed or shattered here that's why it's going back wow something's being restored yeah they can't enter this portal of divine love here look at all these hearts and something looks closed something came back to somebody yeah oh my god what did I say you're just passing through <laughs> ready for the next adventure in your life oh my goodness yeah whoever your your person was they envy you they have some sort of envy towards you I don't know why, why that is there but they desire you at the same time and they're always watching but this person is tied to the material materialistic life it says life in the fast lane materialistic connection superficiality and unfulfillment oppressed fear and overwhelmed that's your person that was supposed to be your person and forfeited their contract for material gain and whatever that lifestyle looks looks like this is somebody that travels for work okay so they everything may check out the boxes on the outside they may have it together financially or whatever but they're still not refusing the call and if they went up against you something is dwindling down for them okay they're fighting their own inner demons this is somebody that has incubus succubus energies for dealing with whoever this queen of swords is yeah toxicity lackluster and negligence they're in a toxic mindset and they have control issues Control, obsession, and possessiveness. But I'm telling you, you're meeting somebody that's a warrior. Reliable, loyal, trustworthy, and protective. Whoever this emperor is that God is bringing you, emperor or empress, they are fierce. They're a fierce protector. And they are enlightened. Or going through that enlightenment process. They're ambitious, creative confident and could be seductive or that's how they see you they're learning growing they have faith and understanding and there you go paving way happiness and abundance that's the ten of cups energy moving ahead long distance travel looking forward to new creation there it is new chapters endings and breakups and I'm telling you some of these people you already saw they fear getting this you know you already know you saw it they fear the death card and some sort of accident or, or something maybe somebody hurt themselves here and now they're in fear now they're paranoid but this is over this chapter in your life is over And they're probably going to end up like this, lovesick, missing you, deeply in love. But that, you know, 
You're in like, exactly. You have self control and you're in oneness, stillness, soundness. Can't make this up. Strength and boldness. Yeah, there you go. You're a slayer. Mastering the art of self defense in spirit or physical. You're unfuckwithable. I can't make this up. You are a force to be reckoned with. You're becoming a warrior in your own life. And now you're meeting somebody that's going to be a fierce, fierce <laughs> protector. This person ain't no joke. You guys together ain't no joke. Wow. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's a power couple. Alright, I know this reading is long. Let's just get a few cards for this new emperor here. Let's get a card for this new emperor. I'm telling you, this emperor is no joke. This is the right emperor for you. Or empress. This empress ain't no joke either, gentlemen. Okay? Treat her right. Treat her right. Because you ain't never going to find one like this again. Vice versa. Yeah. A true gentleman. Act like a true gentleman. Or not act, be. Okay? And for the ladies, you're meeting a true gentleman. I want to do things for you I never felt inspired to do for anyone else. I'm telling you, this person's going to be fierce when it comes to you. Take it how it resonates both ways. You're both very protective. And you're both warriors. Spiritual warriors. Yeah, curious about you. There's that crush, curiosity. Alright, Spirit, tell me about this Emperor. Sharp dresser, gray eyes. Cause every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man. Da -da -da. I'm a little taken back. Nervous vibes. Protective. Can't make it up. There it is. We have average height. So they could be like 5'10, 5 5'11. For the ladies, she could be 5'7", five, 5'6". Five, yep, very handsome. You or them? Older than you? You or them? Somebody here could be 50. I see 50 here. Somebody could be 50 here. That's not for everybody, of course. This person is a prankster, or you are. I, well, we are talking about the emperor, so male or female. Okay. Prankster, and this, this I feel, is somebody else. This is your past person. You block them off energetically. I think spirit is blocking them off energetically. The other emperor here. Maybe they think it's a prank. Uh, no, it's not a prank. It's for real, for real. And I wonder, is it just as good as it is in my dreams? So this person's dreaming of you. They've had you in their dreams, collective. Oh, we got blue eyes. Okay, so it's going to resonate different for all of you. Or you can have blue or gray eyes or a little combination of both. Take it how it resonates. I want to show you how a real man treats a woman. So you have choices. Let me find out. 
Okay, we have travelers. Somebody here travels. And I want to do things for you I never felt inspired to do for anyone else. So that could be someone that travels for business as well. Or they want to travel to see you. Nice physique. And we have younger than you. Some of you may have, maybe Spirit is talking about both emperors. Yeah, I can't get you out of my mind. I see you as someone I can build with. Yeah, long lost crush. We've met before. I feel like Spirit is talking about both people here, okay? Because you look like someone I can bring home to Mama. And then we have, are you my soulmate? Because it's deja vu when I saw you. I have no children. Okay, so this could be someone that wants children. And I want to take my time with you. Younger than you. Yeah, so we have older than you and younger than you. There's two people here. I feel like Spirit is talking about both emperors. So take that out. It resonates. Adventure and adrenaline seeker. I can't help but to wonder what life would be like with you. Okay. Yeah. This is somebody you're, you're going to meet here. Destiny is setting this up. So keep it moving. Alright. You look damn good. One sexy man or woman. Yep. When I saw you I knew God answered my prayers. Wow. Collective. Spiritual. Online crush. You take my breath away. There it is, guys. And the the one with refusal of the call, music constantly reminds me of you. Okay. This person could be sarcastic. And then we have Netflix and Chill. Secret Admire. So they could like Netflix and Chill. Maybe throw on a little music also. So maybe music is reminding them of you. Secret Admire. Yeah. I want and desire a kiss from those lips. New person, not the past. You will meet this person while you're out somewhere. That spirit is aligning you two. Alright. Beautiful. I love it. It's justice for all the injustice you've been through. You both deserve each other. You're on the right energy. Anything else, Spirit, you want to say here? Tell me about this new emperor. New emperor, new empress energy. Being with you makes me anxious. Okay. Is that the old emperor or the new emperor? Your mixed signals drive me crazy. Yeah, this is you and, and your old emperor talking to each other. Okay, because they live in the Nine of Swords. Okay, what about the new person? thought having children would fix us. Okay. That's for some of you. And if it's not children with you, it could be something they're going through with some sort of karmic. Because there is a karmic here. I don't want to talk about that though, spirit. Yeah, being with you makes it difficult to see. Okay, but for some of you, I don't know. Maybe you had a child or something from this person. You thought that would fix it or something, and it didn't. For some of you, that's something they're going through with the karmic. Spirit, let's talk about this new love. New love energy. 
Yes. Loving you takes my breath away. Aww. So they're a little taken back by you. Yeah, <laughs> you went out of this love triangle. Okay, for some of you, maybe that's what they're going through here. Okay? Because they are going through a tower moment and an ego death and an ascension process. So maybe that's what they're going through with some sort of karmic here. Alright, but they're not coming to you till they go till they go through their their you know they are doing the work, basically. But they had some challenges here. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah, I still talk to people from my past. So there's something going on there. Could be a divorce. I know you better than you think. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else here. Yeah, commitment is on the horizon. New person, spirit, new person. And then we'll leave it at that, okay? Suspicious. No answer. Yeah, they're not talking to whoever. So this is a karmic saying. I thought having a child would fix us. So yes, this this emperor, new emperor, could have a child. We do have a child here. Okay. So maybe you don't have children, or this other emperor that refused the call doesn't have children. Okay. Because this emperor, I feel, does, and they're dealing with some sort of karmic situation. Yeah, you don't know me, but I see you. So this is coming out of left field, but I feel they're online crushed. So they're looking at you, but you don't know who this is. Yeah, they're moving forward, no going back. Okay, now I get it. I wonder what excites you. So they're thinking about what excites you. Yeah, they're single. Okay, good. Okay, so that's like past energy. Somebody was unfaithful to this person. That's why they're moving forward, no going back. And yeah, they're trying to tell them that they're missing them. Okay, so there's a karmic trying to get back in this person's good graces, but they're not going backwards. I'm not ashamed of being with you. There you go. This is someone that is not going to be, what did I say? Ashamed to be with you. They're not going to point fingers, outcast you for being different. They're not going to be ashamed of it. Committed, faithful. Yeah, this is someone that commits and is faithful. So... Their karmic was unfaithful. I wish you would reach out. It would be a nice surprise. With oh yes and new love. Okay, so if you're wishing whoever this new person would reach out. It is new love. And they're going to turn this fantasy into a reality. Okay. Yeah, you open their mind to new perspectives. So they've been watching you online, so you must express yourself online with whatever it is that you know. You are the muse and inspiration for others, is what I'm seeing here. So not now, bad timing. They are going through an ego death. They absolutely adore you. And yeah, closing out a cycle for sure. Probably because there are children involved here. For some of you. Yeah, they're well worth it. I've been watching you on social media for months, perhaps, maybe even years for some of you. That's why Long Lost Crush would probably come out there as well. Yeah, going through a divorce. So that's what it is. Will you take a leap of faith with me? So after all this court stuff, divorce stuff, 
um, they want to take a leap of faith. Yeah, <laughs> they don't. They 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 fight with not doing it because they they feel like they'll be a nervous wreck around you. But this is somebody that will go for it. Okay. Yeah, your twin flame is dating. Um, let's see here. They have children, and they're unavailable. Even though you're crushing on each other, just friends, go for it. You just blow me away. Karmic soulmate. So whoever this karmic is that brought hell into their life, um, they just want to be friends with that person. You guys are still crushing on each other, but this person is unavailable now. They have, they're dating somebody else. I feel you, they would, okay, yeah. They're dating somebody else, your twin. Whoever this refusal of a call is. And I think, okay. So whoever this low vibrational emperor is that had refusal of the call that was meant to be your, you know, divine masculine and remain the karmic. It looks like they went through hell with someone here that was trying to be like you and go up against you, right? Point fingers towards you. And they ended up going through a breakup here is what it looks like. But they're dating somebody else. So they're involved in another karmic situation. Okay. And I feel like that was like the straw that broke the camel's back for spirit and source. Because they refused the call. They already know better is what I'm getting here. But they failed to go through that transformation. So that's why spirit's God is bringing you a high-level soulmate here. Um, again, that person is stuck in all of this, you know, superficial stuff. They're too attached to their, to, you know, to the material world. So, that's why. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You guys are going to be happy. Keep moving forward. Keep loving yourself. Keep ascending and going through that beautiful transformation. You are the treasure you've been looking for. And you're a god or goddess. You have a high, high purpose. And you are, you are part of something much bigger than probably you can even fathom at this moment. Okay? It, it's, it's more, it, I feel like it goes beyond planet Earth, to be honest. So, but you're here for a big purpose, and, you know, once you leave this earth, it's, it's, there's still a continuation of more to come for you, okay? Alright guys, that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I wish you the best. Peace, love, and light, and happiness with your new Emperor Empress. Alright? Peace.